review on my hair and let you know the specs and details on it before I actually change it out. So this hair is from Medusa Hair Company. This is the Eurasian Curly Hair. This is from their Elite Collection. They do have different collections of hair where some are up on the scale versus the other hair, which all the hair is great quality, but there are some that are more up there than some of the others. So this is from the Elite Collection and I have in two 26s, a 24 and a 22 inch. And the hair was super, super curly whenever I received it. It is still really curly. But what I did to loosen up my curls just a little bit is I ran a heated brush through the hair just to kind of like not flat iron it out, but just kind of break the curls up and loosen them up a little bit. But I feel like it's still very, very curly. But over time, I feel like the curls have stretched out just a little bit where it comes down longer because at first it looked really sharp because the curls were really shrunk and stuck together. That's the specs on this hair. As far as what I do to this hair, I do have a curly hair routine video where I show you all the products that I use and I also demo it, how I put the products in, how I wet the hair down every day, all that stuff. So I will link that video down below so you guys can check that out. This install has been very versatile because I do have my perimeter out all the way around with a side part as well. So right now I just have a braid on the side and I have the hair all pushed over to one side. But I'm also able to wear this hair all up in a ponytail or like half up, half down and all that type of stuff. So, so yeah, I've had this hair in for maybe about a month. And as far as tangling, shedding, all that type of stuff, whenever I brush this hair out, I do use a Denman brush, which works really good with curly hair to help break up the curls where it's not going to be ripping the hair out but it really just untangles the hair very good and i wet the hair down first and apply conditioner so that way the curls can easily glide through you know with the brush and everything and i'm not just ripping the hair out but i still do get some shedding which to me is normal with curly hair you usually are going to get some shedding just because that's how curly hair usually is it's not excessive or anything but i do get some shedding um as far as tangling i don't really get tangling but if you do not tie the hair up at night like if you just try to go to sleep with it all everywhere it will be harder to come out in the morning and you will kind of have more tangles and things like that because there have been some nights when i was lazy and i didn't tie my hair up um, but what you do need to do with this hair at night if you want to have it to be somewhat low maintenance is pull it up i pull it all the way up and i just wrap it around in a bun and i use a clip to secure the hair and then i'll tie my scarf around my edges so that's how i do and in the morning whenever i go to comb it out it's not as hard to do it's so much easier whenever you tie your hair up and pull it up at night so that way while you're sleeping the hair isn't you know getting rubbed on you know it's not friction on the hair like while you're sleeping tossing and turning or whatever so make sure you tie the hair up every night you can also do a braid or whatever if you're going to wear it down i definitely recommend doing the bun at the top because that way you can sleep freely and you don't have to worry about your hair at all so that's how i like to sleep and i think it works really good with this hair um but yeah like i said i do get some shedding but it's not excessive i wanted to show you dolls the ringlets i did take a nap today so some of the curls may be a little bit frizzy a little bit because this is the side that i was asleep on but you can see the ringlets are really really nice and whenever i wet my hair down and everything i like my curls to clump together i like a more defined look with my curly hair versus really big and like more bushy looking so just check out that video where I do the demo and everything and then you can really see how I define my curls and everything. But basically I just use conditioner and then I have some special products that I apply to the hair as well that really helps to fight the frizz and everything. Because I've had my hair out and you know everything all day and I even took a nap on the hair and as you can see it's still not frizzy and super big and that's because of the products that i use on the hair and the method that i use so if you like a more defined look with your curly hair definitely check out the video and check out medusa hair company i've seen nothing but great reviews on all of the other hair that she has on her site as well 
So I really, really love this hair. Check out her Instagram page. You can see pictures where people actually have the hair installed and everything. If you want to see how it looks on other people or different um, wave patterns and stuff like that. And the owner is super cute and she's really, really sweet. So thank you so much, doll, for sending me this hair for review. And check out Medusa Hair Company. I love this hair. I'll definitely be saving it for another install at some point. So yeah, check out Medusa Hair Company. I don't want to ramble. Shipping was super fast. Packaging is, oh my God, so cute. Let me get the packaging because I only showed it on my snap. I almost forgot that the packaging was one of the key things that I wanted to show you, which I know packaging is not everything. The product is the most important, but whenever you get really cute packaging, it just makes you so much more excited for the product that's on the inside. So I showed it on my Snapchat. I almost forgot to show you those, but this is the bubble wrap that it comes in. Really pretty pink metallic. The hair comes in bags like this, which is super, super cute to me. And these bags are reusable. I love the hot pink drawstring with the tassels on the end. The bag is like a black satin material. And then there is the logo on the front with the website and everything. Super, super cute. I just think this is really, really cute packaging. I think I had a little bit of hair left over, so I'll show you how the hair looks when you receive it. Also come in plastic bags. This was all of the hair that I had left over. This is how the hair looks when you receive it. The curls are very uniformed and kind of like spiral curls. So this is how the hair looks when you receive it versus how my hair looks now. I don't know if you dogs can tell the difference, um, but whenever you comb the hair out, you know, it definitely looks different. I'll just pull a, a piece of loose right here and it can get really, really big if you want bigger hair, if you want to pick it out or whatever. But this is kind of how the hair looks when you take it a loose. It kind of looks the same because it hasn't been wet down and everything, but yeah. And this is the hair and the hair color is just like a 1B color. That's the color that my hair is and usually virgin hair always matches and I don't have to color it at all. So the color is good on it. It's definitely a dark brown color. So if your hair is black, you'll probably need to apply some color on it like a rinse or whatever just to deepen up the color a little bit. And yeah, I think that's it. I don't want to ramble and hold you dolls on this. So definitely just check out that other video so you dolls can see how to manage your hair and get your curls to pop. And thank you dolls for watching. Bye dolls. Thousands, and we'll grow.